I'm going to start with the defensive end. So I had the Bills keeping the following defensive ends. Carlos Basham Jr., Jerry Hughes, Mario Addison, Gregory Rousseau, and A.J. Epinesa. Right? So we I kept the two rookies that we just brought in. Hughes, your daddy. Second-year player, A.J. Epinesa. And veteran leader, Mario Addison. I cut Daryl Johnson because at this point we have a lot of defensive ends. That special teams play might not be enough for him to stick around on this team. And if he could contribute a little more on defense, I think he would be super valuable. But that's just not the case. We might be able to sneak him back on the practice squad if that's what the Bills want to do. But I just don't know if Daryl Daryl Johnson's like a super sought after player in the league, considering that's he just contributes on special teams. I also cut Brian Cox Jr. I mean, he's got good bloodlines with his father being in the league in the past. And I know Father's Day was yesterday. Again, we are recording on Monday, but that isn't enough to keep him, Brian. <laughs> like, that's not enough to keep him on the team. So, it's, I, I don't know. I just don't know what he's got. I just don't think he's got enough in the toolbox to compete with everyone else. And then this last one, F.A. Obata, I really, really, really wanted to keep F.A. He's got a really cool story about coming to the league. But in the end, I had to cut him, and I didn't like it. But I think we also have to understand this. Him, his skill set, like Christian Wade, are relatively new to the game. Like, they're both still kind of learning it. And, you know, I mean, F.A., F.A. probably is on a faster track to getting getting the game down before Christian Wade. But if you combine that with the lonely $1.5 million contract that he signed for, it, it's just kind of enough for me to say, like, he might not be on the team. And he might get that shot because the Bills didn't really toss a whole lot of money at him. But So he might be expendable. So I think I think this already speaks to how much more challenging the defensive side was than the offensive side because mm-hmm. we we didn't have huge amounts of variance on on some of our decisions last week. But right from the rip here, I I have a few different different thoughts than you. Ho, ho, ho. Um, some of the obvious ones. Um, did you mention Mike Love? Oh yeah, he's gone too. Yeah, Sorry. Mike Love's gone too. Um, Brian Cox Jr., he was already fighting an uphill battle to make this roster um, as deep as we are at the position now. Um, But he also, I think two days ago, three days ago, I don't know, time's relative. He also got carted off the field, so. I did not know that. Yeah, so I think he already had a, a tough spot and then, you know, wish him the best of his health and hope it's nothing too serious i haven't seen much about it because i I do think he could latch on somewhere else Mm -hmm. um he's one of the guys that you know i was excited to see more from a couple years ago um but it's not happening in buffalo um so for me um got basham addison hughes russo aj apanessa as well um i have to keep my guy fa um, I loved what I saw from him in Carolina. Yeah. Um, like you said, transitioning to the game and all that, he put up five and a half sacks last year. I think he's could kind of be that Trent Murphy type player where you don't really see him as a, a long-term piece, um, but what he can offer you in the short term while these younger guys are coming along, I think could be very valuable for this roster. Mm-hmm. I was also kind of willing to go a little bit heavier on the defensive end rotation um, with the versatility of a couple of these guys um, and kind of thin out the defensive tackles. I also do have Daryl Johnson sticking around, and it's only being mentioned with the defensive ends because that's his position on paper. Um, but this is strictly one of those uh, Bean McDermott 
will keep guys around because they really value special teams. Uh, he plays all four phases of special teams. Mm-hmm. Uh, maybe he sticks around, and when we can start getting out of the contracts of like a Medikovic and even a guy like Taiwan Jones, something like those older guys that are just special teams aces, maybe he can become that and kind of just have a long career of doing that. Um, but at least for the short term, I have him sticking around. 